SpongeBob SquarePants, one of my all-time favorite characters. So I'm gonna show you how to make him out of Airdo today. We're gonna give him a nice, big, wide, goofy grin, and he's gonna be sitting down. We'll start with the Airdo bucket here with a big blob of yellow. And we're gonna pound it down into a little cube. This is his head, basically, the main part of the body you see. Carve out a space where his mouth is gonna be. Punch out a pretty big cavity there for it. We need to leave room for the tongue and the black that will make it look like a dark cavern in there. Fill it in with a nice, really thin layer. We just wanna be able to, you know, make it dark. So you don't need too much, but you do need to press it in really deep because you've got to make room for this little tongue that we're about to put in here. So get some red air dough and just a small little ball will do it. Just carve out a little line for the divider of the tongue and just press it in the very bottom. And then we're gonna go back to some yellow here and we're gonna give him the upper lip structure. SpongeBob has an overbite and he's also buck teeth. So we gotta give him a nice place to put those two teeth. We're gonna carve out some space um, for his eyes. We're gonna keep them nice and big and close together. Keep them low enough on his face. And we're gonna get some white for the whites of his eyes. And we're going to just press them out in little balls. You gotta really check the size here to make sure you don't make them too big or small. And just press them right into the sockets and the whites should be touching in the middle. and then give him a little spot to put the color of his iris in there. SpongeBob has got blue eyes, so we're gonna grab some blue air dough and press out some little pieces to fill in the color there. All right. He's a little bit cross-eyed, so we kind of push the color towards the center. And then we poke out a little spot for the pupil, so just a tiny little black dot and he's looking crazy which is perfect all right and then a little spot for the nose and the nose is long he's got a he's got a big schnoz but it's not too big so just kind of long and bend it up a little bit all right it's not really looking like spongebob yet but just be patient with me here we're gonna do some more mouth details, so just roll out a really thin little roll to give him a bottom lip. All right, that looks good. He's got really poofy cheeks, so he's, he's a grinner. So we make these little kind of like hoof shapes. And we press them on the corner of his mouth. Make sure you press it down so it doesn't stick out too much. There we go. All right, now it's time for his teeth. Um, like I said, he's buck tooth, so this is why we made that big lip. We gotta make a couple spots for the teeth. They're like little chiclets and just press them in and make sure they stay. And this is where you're gonna start seeing it look like SpongeBob. Now it looks like him. <laughs> Now we're gonna finish off his head by working on those holes. He kind of looks like a block of cheese, but of course he's a sponge. You just gotta get a little bit of an off yellow color, just a tiny little bit of black will do it. And then press some holes. Since we're working in 3D here, you know, you can give it a little bit of depth. Press some of that off yellow color into those holes and it'll look just like the cartoon. But in 3D. Cool, and then just do this all around. Just 
takes a little time. All right, back to the Erdo bucket and we're gonna grab some brown. And this is for the eyelashes. The eyelashes are really tedious. This takes a lot of time and it is not fun, so bear with me. A few moments later. Okay, that wasn't so bad. It looks good. Give them a little bit of that wavy sponge texture. Press them in there. Now we're gonna make his shirt. The shirt is a really thin layer, so don't make this too thick or he's gonna be too tall in the end. We're gonna grab some brown for the pants. It's about the same thickness of his shirt, so just get the size right here. SpongeBob square pants, so you don't gotta square it off. It won't look like him if you don't. Now we're gonna add some collar details on his shirt. He's a astute businessman. We're gonna make sure he looks nice. Got a little tie, of course. And we're gonna place that right on there. Oh, look at him, he looks so professional, I love it. It's time to roll out some more features of his body. He has legs and arms, of course, and they're very skinny. So this is a little tricky. Gotta roll out some arm sleeves of his shirt. and just press the arms right in there and just make sure it sticks. And once you have a spot for his sleeves to go and just press them in, you can tell the arms are way too long right now, but don't worry about that yet. And these are the legs. So we're gonna do the same thing, build little cones for his pant legs and we're just gonna press them in there. Be sitting down so they're just gonna be facing straight forward. And of course his legs are way too long too, so don't worry about that, he looks kinda crazy right now. Okay, and this is the also not so fun part. Um, hands are always really tough to build, so. We're gonna trim his arms down. Ouch, sorry guy. That looked painful. Yeah, just press the hands in there and just kind of form it around until it looks a little human or, you know, sponge bobby. And we're gonna trim his legs too. Yikes. All right, <laughs> that's a better length. And we're gonna make his little shoes, of course. Make them look like shoes, you want the heels to look a little bit more slim, and then the front should be a little bit more bulbous, where his toes would be. And we're building a little sock structure around it, that's the white there, and uh, that also helps it stick to his legs. So, there he is! He's all done! He's ready to sit down. That's Spongebob, Spongebob Squarepants. Thanks for tuning in today, and be sure to check us out every week. If you like what you see, go ahead and subscribe and let us know what you want to see us build next in the comments. See you next week.